G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, Wednesday sort of lunchtime here in Australia, so you know, sort of very early Wednesday morning over in the stateside time, maybe Tuesday night, and the market is down again. So it just continues to go down, and again, it is a very scary time, even for people who've been in the crypto space for a long time. And I've been in here for a little over four years, and I've got to admit, I am not scared, but just no one likes seeing you know their portfolio go by down go down by as much as what it has over the last few months. Now it's even worse if you're actually at a loss. I'm lucky enough I'm not at a loss, but I have lost you know a ton of sort of unrealized profits. Uh, haven't lost money technically yet. You know again I've sold some coins for at a loss before, but others made up for it. But you know I've lost oh, probably about a third. Of my total sort of net worth uh, watching this crypto market go down and yeah it, it hurts so I'm quite sure everyone's feeling exactly the same but what I want to what I want to do today is have a look and see if there's a way that we can find that we can continue to invest in the crypto market and still make money when it's going down because believe it or not there are ways and we're gonna have a look at that but first of all again Market cap $1.246 uh, trillion and it's down 2%. Again, the volume is very, very low at the moment. BTC dominance has dropped a little bit. ETH dominance uh, under 17% and gas price is 21. Excuse me now. Again, people are kind of hoping that we've found a bottom. And look, I hope we have too. I'm just not so sure we have. We'll have to wait and see. But that's why you've got a little bit of green in here. Again, people are jumping in and out of sort of things, and there's always sort of outliers. So, all right, has anything done well in the last 24 hours? I mean, Ethereum's up 1.3%. Uh, not a whole lot, but, you know, it's some kind of gain. Right, there we go, ThorChain. A lot of people think, you know, maybe the bottom of ThorChain was in Axie Infinity, same thing, Compound, Leo Token, FTX, Flow, Quant, Nem, Stellar. Stacks, polka dots. So again, people are jumping back into these alts. For me, and I've been saying this for a while now, just be very, very careful. If you're investing for the long term, then really these prices are, you know, as long as they do well, and again, this is never financial advice, but these prices are generally fantastic. They're 70% from their old all-time highs, most of these coins. Not sure about Axie Infinity, that's been uh, on quite a pump, has pulled back some, but I think that's an old all-time high there. But all these other coins, basically, they are literally, yeah, 60, 70, maybe even 80% from their all-time highs. So if you're buying them for the long term and you fundamentally believe in these coins, should they get back to their old, old all-time highs and go above, then you're probably gonna do extremely well. But again, there's no guarantees in life, but that's the way to look at it at the moment. Yes, the market continues to go down. Yes, it's very scary. And even, you know, the most hardened of crypto OGs and things like that, sorry, OGs and, you know, people like that, things like that. That was a weird uh, thing to say. Oh God, killing myself here. But look, even they struggle when they see that. They see their net value, you know, drop substantially when they see things like that. And it hurts them but they've just generally been around long enough to not panic. Uh, again, no one has lost money in Bitcoin, no matter what price they've bought it for, if they've been around for at least four years. So that's something that you can sort of, you know, you know, try to comfort yourself in if you're in the market and if you're in Bitcoin. That's not the same for the altcoins. Altcoins come and go very fast. Not all of them last. Some have been around for a while and continue to set new all-time highs. Ethereum, uh, for one, has done quite well. But there are some gains here. But, you know, they might be short-lived because you just look at the seven days over here and not too many have been doing well over the last week. There are a couple of outliers. There always are. But I'd say a lot of these gains are probably going to be lost by the end of this week unless the market itself turns around. And I'm just not sure about that at the moment. All right, what about losses then? The market is down. There's probably going to be some good losses. Well, not good, but substantial losses. Good's never a <laughs> word that you want to put with losses. All right, MDEX is down. Telecoin, Ecomi, Synthetics again. Uh, you know, it had such a good pump. It got down to $5.70 something, I think. Jumped up to $11, so some people you know, might have been lucky enough to double their money, and now most of those gains are starting to be eroded again. Hence why I love Synthetics Network, but I just, yeah, I'm not sure about the altcoin space just yet. Again, 
long term could be if synthetics network does as well as what i think could be an absolutely great price to buy it but short term i mean you know it's definitely possible this could go down to something like you know two dollars three dollars if we really are in a bear market and there's some further substantial downside and again i'm not saying that's what is going to happen it's just something we need to keep in mind so again double digit losses really only a couple of gainers there things aren't looking pretty so is there maybe another space that we can have a look at within the cryptocurrency space that's doing well probably by looking at this you're probably going to already know the answer like let's have a look at DeFi. right uniswap down 4.6 percent seven days down 20 percent chain link down to almost 20 percent over seven days you know stable coins are what they are are they down 20 percent basically it doesn't look like anything in the DeFi space is really doing well oh olympus there we go there's usually going to be an outlier here and there how long that will last uh, is a different question so we can see particularly over the last seven days almost nothing has done well we got that olympus uh, and ample fourth here which is a rebasing token i'm pretty sure it doesn't look good oh there we go uh frack share uh, again very low down the ranks i don't know what number that is on the actual chart this is the DeFi chart but basically very few winners if any really at all and again there's always the outliers all right what about nfts we've heard about how well nfts have been doing <coughs> oh, excuse me all right theta network down nearly 30 percent in the last seven days Chili's 13%, Engine 18%, Axie Infinity is now down 20%, Decentraland 20%, Flow 23%. It doesn't look like that's doing that well either. Audius, oh, I got wrecked on Audius. I thought I bought it at a good price and it just dumped even further and further. Uh, did sell some Audius at a loss, but kept half of it uh, and have it staking at the moment. And I'm just going to let that half ride. And look, I may buy into some Audius. It's not that I don't think Audius is a good project. I just unfortunately thought I bought at a good discount. Uh, it wasn't the best discount. So I'll probably buy some more once I see a sort of leveling out pattern. And again, we could be getting to that, but you know, we could be going a lot lower. But the NFT space, I mean, look, it's just double digit losses everywhere. There's hardly anything that is in the green. I mean, double digit loss, double digit loss, double digit loss, couple of single digits. Here we go. Fear token, I don't know anything about it, but it's up 111%, but we'll have to wait and see how long that lasts. My guess is probably not very long. And look, now we have a couple of gains. Chain Guardians, uh, pretty sure that's a game. Uh, Polychain Monsters, probably a game as well. So there definitely are some gains. Uh, Ravon Mon, don't know much about it, 183%. But generally, outside of a few outliers, that whole space really isn't doing so well either i mean it just continues to go down and down and down so how can we make money in the crypto market when things are going down well number one there's sort of two ways unfortunately this first way probably won't make you any money in the short term it's buy if you like the project if you believe it's a good project and you want to uh you know invest in it well, investing in it when it's at such big discounts is the best time. Now, is this the best time right now, though? Maybe not. Things could go a whole lot lower. But if you've done your research and if things pan out the way you thought and you've bought something at a 70, 80 percent discount, then by the time it hits its next all time high, whenever that may be. And look, it could be two months away. It could be three or four years away. We just don't know. But if it does then you're going to have made some amazing profit. So that's the number one way, is you want to buy when things are down. You don't want to be chasing pumps. When things are up like, you know, whatever these ones that are up 118%, I would be very, very careful trying to chase something that's already up 118%. It's not to say that you couldn't get on it and it doesn't go up another five, 600% from there. That is possible but it's highly unlikely, particularly the way the markets are at the moment. There's a lot of things that are just pumped for a very short amount of time. And if you can't get in and out fast, you will get wrecked. So again, long term, if these projects are ones you like and you believe they're going to be here long term, everything is on mad discount at the moment. It's just they could go a whole lot lower before they start to go up. 
All right, what's the second way that we can start to make money with crypto, particularly if it's going down and even in the short term? Well, there's staking, but even that sort of uh, hurts a little bit because a lot of your uh, rewards sort of go down in bear markets. But lo loaning them out, sorry. So have a look at Compound. Have a look at some of the interest they're paying. Aave, Yearn, Fulcrum, BlockFi, Nexo, Celsius. I mean, they do some great rates. Bitfinex, you know, uh, even some of the exchanges do it and things like that. So there is way that you can make money and you can kind of make, in a sense, kind of twice the money. You can buy into these projects. So again, maybe, you know, DeFi is your thing. I know it is for me. You can buy into these projects at massive discounts, knowing that they may go down further. You can ten, then take those coins and put them onto things like Celsius. Look at the kind of interest you can make, particularly, you know, USD, 8%. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. Uh, what else can we do? Paxos Gold Token, 5%. Bitcoin, 6%. Uh, 3.1, sorry, 3.5% after one BTC. Ethereum, 5%. 5.05% uh, after 100 Ethereum. There's not a lot of people that are going to have over 100 Ethereum. I'm not saying there won't be any. I'm just saying there's not going to be a lot of people. Cell token itself has done extremely well since its inception. Still goes up and down with the market, but generally has been one of the better performing coins overall. You can have all your interest paid out in the cell token on Celsius. Synthetics network token, 13.9%, and it's not locked up uh, in the staking rewards because when it's in the staking rewards on synthetics, it can take some time to get it out and things like that. Whereas if you have some sort of staking locked up your long-term synthetics and then your short-term synthetics instead of it having sit on a ledger or sit on an exchange waiting for that ideal moment to be sold you can put it on celsius because you can sell uh, an exchange coins on celsius as well so matic same thing so there is ways to make money even in a market that's turning down now i'm not sure exactly about celsius whether you can do it but i know on blockfi so we go over here, you can have all your interest paid out in Bitcoin and they got a number of coins. So again, you can put Bitcoin there, Ethereum, Litecoin, Link, US uh, coins, Paxos, Paxos Gold, uh, DAI, Uni token uh, and BAT token. You can have all your interest paid out in Bitcoin if that's what you want, all your interest paid out in USDC if you want or all your interest paid out in the coins that you're actually staking. So your BAT will earn BAT, your UNI will earn UNI, and your Bitcoin will earn Bitcoin and things like that. So there actually is quite a number of ways to make money. Crypto.com is another one. So we go over here, look at the percentages they're paying. Crypto.com, 6%. Ethereum, 6%. US, 12%. Paxos Standard, 12%. Kyber Network 3, Cardano, Binance Coin, I mean, you name it. Mainly the stable coins are doing really well, but even Bitcoin is getting 6.5% interest. Now, I know what you're going to say, but what about the not your uh, keys, not your coins and all the rest of it? Very, very true. You take a risk when you're putting your money into these places. There has to be an element of trust. Now, if you don't have a lot of crypto, and you've just invested a little bit here and there, and if you lost it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, well then why not put it onto one of these platforms and earn some interest? If you lose it, and again, it's not gonna be the end of your world, you may as well make it work for you. Now, if you have, if it's all the crypto you own, and unfortunately, if it's not a lot, because some people can't afford a lot, so you know, maybe someone out there who's watching this channel only has $50 worth of crypto you know, and we'll go by Australia. No, we'll go by US dollars because that's what most people base it off. 50 US dollars worth of crypto, a lot to them in the country that they're from, but to the rest of the world, probably very little. It's hard to then diversify that cryptocurrencies. But if you have a, you know, a reasonable amount of cryptocurrencies, let's say, you could get an account on Celsius, an account on crypto.com, an account on uh, BlockFi, uh, you know, have a, an account with Aave, have an account with Curve Finance, you name it, all over the place. And that way you diversify your funds all around and don't have them sort of all risked in just one place. 
because that is a little bit scary because if that one place goes down, you've lost everything. So again, I, I don't have a Celsius account yet. I am uh, in the process of getting one going. I don't have a crypto.com. I do have a uh, BlockFi uh, account and there's a link down below. Uh, it's a process to join up and their rates aren't the greatest at the moment, but their rates adjust when things start to, you know, boom and get better, their rates go up and then things when things aren't going so well, their rates go down and that's understandable. That's probably not a bad business model. But these are ways that you can actually make money even when the market's going down. And again, you can kind of double up. Like so, you know, again, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is dumping at the moment. Well, not dumping. It's already dumped. It's kind of leveled off, but may go even further. So you buy Bitcoin at 29000 It's half price from its old all-time high. You then bring it over here, put it on crypto.com, and you make 6.5%. So you're doubling up. You're buying it at a big discount. So when it finally does go up, you're going to have doubled your money, sort of. And again, not financial advice, but you've also been earning 6.5% at the same time. Or again, I'm not sure what crypto.com, uh, how it works. I don't have a crypto.com account, but maybe you have all your interest paid out in you know, USD and then that's staking at 12%. And then when you see these dips, you take some of it and buy the coins. There's a ton of different ways. So yes, the market is not pretty at the moment. You know, it, it's painful for everyone involved, but there are ways to make money and increase the amount of crypto you have. And particularly, there's a number of people in crypto who are just 100% crypto and don't really believe in anything else. And all they're trying to do is accumulate more crypto because they're looking 5, 10, 20 years down the track, which you know, may be a very, very smart decision. Only time will tell then you just keep getting more crypto and you don't worry about the dollar value, how much it's gone up and gone down. And really, that is how it, excuse me, is for me in crypto. I'm not 100% in crypto, but the crypto I have, I'm just letting it ride. It really doesn't matter what happens to it. If it goes to zero, well then so be it. I guess it's going to zero. I don't see it doing that. Some of the things I've invested in, absolutely possible they could, hopefully, that's not the case. But Bitcoin, I don't see it going anywhere. Ethereum, we're still kind of on the fence. We've got to wait for Ethereum 2.0, but I get the feeling if they roll it out with no hiccups, it is going to be here very long term. Uh, Chainlink, I, th I think, you know, I couldn't imagine they're going anywhere and they're going to be very hard to beat. They've just got that first, uh, you know, advantage. Uh, first mover advantage, that's the, word, that's the word I was looking for. So I've got a position in them. I don't think they're going anywhere. Now, outside of those, we'll have to wait and see. But I've got things like Cosmos, Polkadot, Cardano, uh, again, Chainlink, Kyber Network, Litecoin. I've got lots of different coins. And again, I'm just simply going to let them ride. If I feel like we're getting to a peak in a market, I'm absolutely going to sell some, take some profits, and then I'll take those stable coins and have them sitting on the side, again, maybe earning 12% yield until I feel like it's a good time to buy back in. And that's my plan. I'll just keep doing the same. Yeah, you know, once I get some good profits, you know, whenever that may be, and if that may be, because it might not, there's always that possibility. But then I'll look to diversify into other things. And like I said, I'm not 100% in crypto anyway. But I would definitely like to, you know, maybe make enough money to, you know, invest in property and maybe some gold and, you know, get some more stocks. I, you know, I'm not so much in the stock market anymore. I do have a small amount in the stock market. And while I don't particularly like stocks, there are some good stocks out there. They're not all just crap and, you know, over uh, inflated and evaluated. Although I'd say a lot of them are at the moment by the money printing. But again, there's too many full doomsday preppers out there who are you know, going to tell you the market's going to crash and it'll be awful. Yeah, but it'll happen to everyone at the same time. So it won't be just you. Most people will be in exactly the same. And the governments and that simply aren't going to let the entire world crumble. They will do something to fix it. They always do. And if that means they unfortunately have to keep printing money to hold everyone up, then that's what they will do. It's what they have been doing. It's not, you know... A long-term solution but it's a short-term solution until they come up with something else that fixes it 
And in all fairness, I think governments and banks around the world are going to come back to crypto to try and prop themselves up. And, you know, eventually everyone in the world, and I don't know when this will be, it could be five years, it could be 10 years, could be 20, 30, 40 years. I think in the future, we will be basically predominantly backed by things like crypto. There will be a whole new financial system. They're already talking about in a Bretton's Wood moment and it you know, could be coming soon. We just don't know exactly when that is. It could be tomorrow. Again, it could be another you know, 5, 10, 20, 30 years away. Who knows? But there you go, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching my video. If you've liked it, can I please get you to go and hit that like button? It really does help my videos get seen. And just to show you, even when the market's going down and things are really bad, generally, not financial advice, that's a better time to invest because when the good times do finally come, your gains will be exponential by then. And now you can double it up. Like I said, buy the coin and then get a reward for holding it. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment, but here's a way that might be able to help you. And I'll see you next time.